If you're looking for a quick repertoire with one D4 to play online, Blitz, Rapid or Bullet, this is what I suggest. So here black will most likely do knight f6 or d5. Your plan will be knight c3, bishop f4, followed by probably queen d2, e3, and sometime h4. So let's see how this would happen. Here you can do knight c3, d5, and bishop f4. Or you can start here with, let's say, bishop f4, knight f6, knight c3. And again, queen d2, long castle, e3, the bishop sometimes comes to b5, and h4. Let's see Grandmaster Daniel Naroditsky. And Iriza. All right, that was a nice one. Now we got to win another one and we got to tie the match. I got to go soon. Been a long day. I was started badly, but I played well there in the critical stretch. Right now, I I am on OpeningTree.com and I have loaded all the recent games by Daniel Naroditsky. And I'm selecting 1d4 and then knight f6 and I can show the move here. He played knight c3. 334 times and he, he has excellent results. So let's take a look. Knight c3 and now d5, most popular move, and he plays bishop f4 around 300 times. So that's exactly the position that was in a video against Ali Reza Feruja. So let's continue with the moves played in the video. So here Ali Reza took on d4 and played a6 to avoid bishop b5. So now this key play knight f3, bishop g4 played, h3, take and take. Now knight c6 is natural and very quickly Daniel play castle. So I want to show you here that he had this position 12 times. So he's still in his preparation. He's playing very quickly because he knows the system. And here Ayreza happened to play bishop b4 on which Daniel Narodiski played g5, but you can see on the right side, he played this position five times. So he's very much into his own repertoire. So that's very important. If you look on screen, you may think that he's discovering the moves, but he has studied the system with 9c3, bishop f4, and e3. Now, what I want to show you is like sometimes he plays b4, bishop f4, sorry, on the second move. And you can see g6 is the main alternative here. So knight c3, again, this idea of the knight on c3 and the bishop on f4 and the queen d2 coming next. And here, let's look at d5. Seems to be very logical, e3, developing. And here, very important, 21 times he played h4. So here, black wants to play h5, otherwise you're gonna play h5 yourself and have an attack on the king side. So h5. And here 14 times he played knight f3 and he has 10 wins, one draw and three losses. So very good result here. Let's see castle. And here knight e5. That's very important because he's gonna have bishop e2, maybe g4, queen d2 and castle. So I wanted to show that even against a king's indian setup or again a more queen's gambit kind of focus like that with c5 in both cases white can have a very strong initiatives and i'll finish by showing a couple of miniature games won by daniel narodiski using this setup
It's a good game. Playing against the bishop on f5. Attacking here. And because of the discovery, black resigned. And one last game between Narodiski and Feruja, this time with a g6 King's Indian treatment for black. h4, threatening h5 as I mentioned. Black counters. Now very important, since black play that move, the knight can come to g5. And white is definitely better because the king is more exposed here than the king over here and white has an advantage. I will not show the whole game, but eventually in this position, Narodzewski play e6, Hain is really attacking and eventually he was able to win the queen. So let me just show you how that happened. The queen is trapped over here because you are attacking the queen and the knight at the same time and here Feruja in order to continue not to do the piece decided to give the queen away but of course white is completely winning over here so this concludes this short video about d4 93 bishop f4 sometimes called jobava if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel and post your comments for new material thank you for watching